All right, so Jason just finished up on the posterior forearm superficial group, and I'll be hitting the deep group of the posterior arm. So the first muscle we're looking at is the supinator. And the supinator actually originates from the lateral epicondyle of the humerus. So it's somewhere in here. I can't really figure out the number in there. Maybe you guys can find it out. I'll leave it to you guys. But you can actually see the origin on the supinator crest of the ulna, which is here, number 97. You see right there? All right, perfect. So that's the origin. And it actually insert. It's going to go through right here. And that's on the... Uh, that's going to be on the lateral proximal third of your radius. So let's do it real quick again. The origin is there on the ulna. It's going to go inside, flip it over. You're going to see it here on the radius. All right. The next one is going to be your abductor pollicis longus. And that's actually going to be right here. So remember, you're looking at the posterior arm. So we're looking in the back of this arm right here. Just make sure that the focus is there. Um, so you see these two right here? So that's going to be on the posterior middle surface of the radius and the posterior surface of the ulna, right? And it's also on the interosseous membrane, but we can't see it because this is just bone. Uh, the next three, so I'm going to approach this in a different way for the next three muscles. The next three muscles, we're just going to try focus on these three points right here. And this is where students usually tend to get these ones mixed up for the exam. Um, there's a small trick to remember these guys. Uh, this is the extensor pollicis brevis. So listen to the name. You have extensor, extensor so it's going to be on the posterior part of your, your forearm. Uh, pollicis means it's going to be closest to your thumb. All right. So this little thing right here, that's going to be your thumb. So it's going to be closest to your thumb. That's going to be your extensor pollicis brevis. This is going to be your extensor pollicis longus right because it takes longer route to get to your thumb all right and then you have your extensor indices all right so let's go over it again extensor pollicis brevis longus and then indices okay uh for the origins uh since we're missing some we're missing fingers in here we're not going to be able to cover them all so i'm going to go over here onto this hand right here and this hand there's no blue insertion points on it, but just to give you guys a brief idea, uh, extensor pollicis brevis goes onto the base of the proximal phalanx of your thumb. So remember, these are the metacarpals. These two are your phalanx. So the brevis goes onto this bone. Remember, it takes the shorter route to there. And the extensor pollicis longus takes the longer route to your thumb. So that would go onto this point right here. Brevis, longus, insertion points. And your extensor indices, actually blends into the tendon of your extensor digitorum of your second digit, which is here. And that's it for your posterior forearm deep group.